biggest, 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 biggest CP, 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 take his time and do that all right it did not click some cars click more than that all right but I can smell in here there's a gas there's a smell of gas coming out of that and there's a seal there this is called the evaporator system the smell of the gas so the check engine light will come on for evap code all right so if you go to your mechanic now and he puts his scan tool on and he discovers an evap leak and if your mechanic is good he's gonna open this and check this if he finds this loose forget about it the problem is solved problem is there he knows because it lost pressure all right simple as that he will tame it for you he probably will charge your diagnostic fee probably eighty dollars ninety dollars but if your mechanic is not a good mechanic he's not honest with you and uh he might charge you four, five hundred dollars simply for doing that. All right. I have came across these problems. I do charge people, my customers, a diagnostic fee, but I do tell them your gas cap is root. Next time when you go to gas station, make sure you hear that, or you can check it yourself. All right. And if you fill up your gas tank with engine running, you're automatically gonna have an evap code on because at the moment maybe the engine system, the computer system. Did do a vacuum pressure test in the system and it discovered it was leaking because your gas cap was loose, you were filling up the tank while the engine was running. So it's all a bad idea to fill up your gas tank with the engine running, alright? So, anyways, let's go more further. Alright? So that's the biggest secret that your mechanic can keep for you. And uh just do let your mechanic know that you filled up your gas tank right before the check engine light came on. That can help them discover something, all right? So let's go further. Let's talk about the E-System, EVAP system, and let's talk about what kind of diagnostic your mechanic will do just because you didn't tell him you filled up your gas tank or he didn't discover this is loose, all right? And let's say this was not the problem. Problem can lie somewhere else in the system itself. We'll, we'll talk about that, all right? So let's go more further. All right, guys, we're underneath the car. Right above me is the same car that I showed you, the gas cap, how it will leak from there. So you're probably wondering what's the EWAP system, how we will check it. Let me show you guys. Let me grab my camera, and I'm gonna show you a couple of components that you might not even see because they're hidden, they're in there, they're hard to get to, but just to give, it, give you an idea. Right, guys, right here, you have a lot of little lines here, fuel lines, here's the fuel lines, there's lines here that goes into this, connects right over here, there's a pressure sensor right there, all right, and uh, there's the lines going all over here, all right, these goes all the way to the engine. How would you discover if one of them is leaking? Because this is not a liquid. We're talking about fumes, so the smell of the gas. 
All right, so what we will do is put smoke into the system and we will check if there's any leak in any of these lines. And right up there somewhere where you can't even see all the way in there is something called the charcoal canister. It's all the way down there. You see that I'm pointing out right there, that metal connector right there? It's a box up there about the size of this light right here. All right, that box, what it does is when you fill up your tank or any given time when there's the fumes of the gas, it will go into that box and they will be held in there. All right, so I'm gonna just explain to you this briefly. So we have a charcoal canister about that big, a foot by half a foot, and it has lines connected to it of uh, clean vacuum lines. There's no liquid going through it. The fumes of the gas will come in there, travel in there, and the, that box will hold on to it. It just is like a reserve box from the fumes of the gas. So what happens is the engine will create vacuum. Every once in a while, the engine will suck vacuum, such as this. And then it will lock the system. So there's a vacuum inside the system. And there's a pressure sensor right on the top. And that sensor is waiting for the pressure to drop. If the pressure drops, it's going to indicate to the computer you have an EVAP leak and you're checking your light, bang, pops up. So you have your gas cap loose, there's no vacuum pressure there, the, the sensor automatically detected it and you check and your light came on. So that's how the system works. And how do we check the system? It can co co become very costly. We will do a smoke test. And what's a smoke test? Here, I'll show you what's a smoke test. All right, I'm not gonna do it on the car, but this is how we check EVAP system. You're wondering what this is? This is a smoke machine. What we do is, we put smoke into the system. This little guy right here, it, it creates smoke, all right? So what we do is, you also need a scan tool to command the system, to lock up the system, meaning the check wall, depending on where you put the smoke from. You So what you do is you take this, you put this into the, the, the EVAP system, you can remove one of the lines, there's a check port, or you, you can buy a special cap, or you can put it from the fuel tank itself. A lot of mechanics, they, what they do is, they remove the fuel tank cap, the gas cap, and put this on and put smoke through there. So you won't even check to see if there's a smoke leaking out, all right? But that would be a good idea that you can notice if the cap is loose or not. So right here is a smoke machine. You could do a leak test with this. And there's the smoke machine, guys. Ooh, it's getting spooky in here. I feel like it's almost Halloween. We're into August, then we have September, and then October. November and December. Alright guys, so let's go more further with this. This This is how we check. So how do we check? to see if there's a leak in the system because you can't visually see it. The, the fumes are unseeable, undetectable. You could only smell them, but you don't know where they're coming from. So here's the magic. We're gonna put smoke into the system. I'm not really gonna do it here, but this is to show and tell. And this test that your mechanic is gonna do is not cheap. He's probably gonna charge you a couple of hundred bucks for this. All right guys. Now that you know what's the smoke test and what's the EVAP, next time you go to fill up your gas, make sure that gas cap is nice and closed. Make sure your, your gas attendant tightens that gas cap, all right? And make sure it's nice and tight. And make sure, one last thing. Make sure, one last thing. You do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell down below. Tell your friends, share and like all of my videos and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.